Welcome back everybody to my second ever first time watch. Today we will be watching, for the first time, Coming to America. I have never seen this movie. I actually think I had it once on Blu-ray um, and then I sold it when I was clearing out my Blu-ray collection. Just never seen this movie. But Coming to America, the second movie, the sequel, comes to Amazon Prime very soon so I thought we'd sit down watch this film it is on amazon prime video so that's where i'm checking it out um, but i'm very excited to see this movie i've heard that it's really hilarious eddie murphy is so funny so i'm really curious to see what this movie is about i have a red bull here because uh this chair is so comfortable even for being 30 years old uh this chair i can fall asleep within it so got an energy drink hopefully we don't fall asleep but if you like to see more first time watch videos just like this let me know what films you want me to check out. I'll tell you if I've checked it out or not. I have a list going of films I want to see. Well, enough talking. Let's check out Coming to America. Cheers. I love it when Paramount does that. They take the mountain and incorporate it into the film. I always love it. The music so far is very soothing. Such an impressive cast. James Earl Jones, Eddie Murphy. Can't wait to see them all in this. I think I'll hum this song all throughout the movie. I didn't even realize that Samuel Jackson was in this movie. Hmm. Is that how he's gonna wake up? So calming. I just got kids screaming at me to wake me up. <laughs> they even have rose petals. That's so extra. It is my 21st birthday. Do you think perhaps just once I might use the bathroom by myself? Most amusing, sir. <laughs> Wipers! Oh, can't do it. So far, but that old guy is just clapping. Oh, well, we'll be putting that in the video. I'm just gonna blur that out right there. It's James Earl Jones. Such a good actor. Love him as Vader's voice and Mikasa. I like him in the Sandlot too. Such a talented guy. I know what the story is about of Eddie Murphy. He's this prince and then he goes to America and learns to kind of like live on his own and has a different kind of like reality. Um, the movie's doing a really good job so far of setting up the life that he lives and how vastly different it's going to be in America. So we're gonna get that culture shock. It's gonna be kind of funny to see how he's gonna to react to it. I'm looking forward to those scenes. I wonder if that's actually Eddie Murphy doing those backflips. Yeah, I don't think so. So you would share your bed and your fortune with a beautiful fool. That is the way it has always been with men of power. <laughs> Royal engagement. Get your run engagement t-shirt. Run engagement t-shirt. Step one step on and get your run engagement t-shirt. The sets and the costume designs. It all looks really great. This is a good looking film so far. And I'm like 12 minutes into it. And I really like how it looks. Presenting <laughs> Miss Amani Aziz. <laughs> Eddie Murphy has such perfect comedic timing. Like his reaction to that was hilarious. I wonder if his wife is in there dancing. She just kind of like shocked everybody that she's in the crowd for the whole time. He's got a good voice. Yeah, listen to the lyrics though. She <laughs> it's just that if we're going to be married, I this may be one of the main reasons why he wants other. to go to America and maybe find somebody. Ever that since I was born, I've been trained to serve you. He ooh, really ooh, will do whatever ooh, he wants. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, I see the two of you are getting along. America, forty days to find a bride. Uh, I watched The Bachelor a lot. That seemed worse. <laughs> So, a very strong open into the movie. I mean, it's like 23 minutes into it. But, uh, really set like who the character is, the way the 
white film courtesy works telephone. And his interest in going to America and his family too, I think, you know, set it up pretty well. He's got a lot of it's yeah. common plots. Like his 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 face just sells it. What like the he's just so excited to go to Greece and live in America. The blonde bomber! Now that, that was Cuba a good boxer! You damn right! Looks like I it. suppose nobody in here ever heard of Cassius Clay. We got a point, Cassius. Power of money. <laughs> Just checking everything. <laughs> Excuse me if I was brus, but sometimes we get booze in here without a dollar to their name. Certain scenes, like they have a joke that ends that scene and then it leads into the next scene. Um... Well, when I talk about that perfect comedic timing, it's, you get that joke, and then you laugh, and then you go to the next scene. It's, it works very well. <laughs> the room is all messed up, and Eddie Murphy's still Damn shame happy. what he did to that dog. He's got the corpse layout. <laughs> we will take the room. Yes. There you go. New York Mets and all the things I love New York. I think in the, the new movie, I saw him have that same outfit. Sexy. It's so cool that Eddie Murphy plays three characters in this scene. He's Prince, the guy in the background there, and uh, what about Barbara Bobby there. Marciano? Three characters. Oh, there they go. There they go. Every time I start talking about boxing, a white man got to pull Rocky Marciano out their ass. That's the one. I wish of the devil. <laughs> See, that's the problem. But I've been watching you all evening. When on Amazon Prime, you can like, look at like, the cast and everything as you watch it off to the side, and it says, Our single ball, too. extremely ugly girl. <laughs> So I like about watching Prime videos, they kind of have like the x-ray thing on the side. You could like look at the cast or the songs or a um, little info about it. It's kind of helpful at times. I Another character good. that Arsenio Hall good. is playing. I know there's a god somewhere. Like there's a god two characters, like, somewhere. Back to back. Turn around, ladies, for the this man's been my reverend since I was a little boy and I love him dearly. You're a very Sounds special like man. Reverend Murphy Brown. to me. <laughs> Reverend Brown. I love about Eddie Murphy movies, like, uh... It feels so lovely to be here tonight. Um, what a beautiful art. Give yourselves a round of applause. You're so lovely. Everyone's so lovely. That's what I love and, about um, uh, Eddie Murphy movies, like, uh, Norbit. I'd like to give a big round of applause to my band, The Nutty Sexual Professor, when he plays multiple characters. Kind of just shows you the range that Eddie Murphy has. And Randy Watson, <laughs> how about it? Uh, before we go any further, I'd like to thank Mr. Cleo McDowell, who's responsible for all the fine food and beverages you've been consuming tonight. Cleo, I know you're proud of your lovely daughter. We are too. ...to express himself through song. In his own the unique girl that way, but falls in love with. the song makes a good point. The children are our future. <laughs> Donations! Donation. I thought it was a trash. Don't be hitting on me. <laughs> no one's that excited to work at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> Why is Eddie Murphy so funny? I think I saw Louis Anderson in there working the front counter. You ever seen that uh, animated show? Um... Life with Louie. I think it was on Fox. I used to watch that when I was younger. Giants triumph by kicking an oblong ball made of pigskin to a big H. It was a most ripping victory. <laughs> That's how I describe Son, football, too. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you this one time. I wonder how long they're going to keep the jobs for in this movie. I mean, what, 55 minutes into it? I could see them working throughout the rest of the movie. Um, Eddie Murphy just, just seems to enjoy his job. I have never been to a basketball game before. I've always wanted to. I'm a loyal citizen of Zamunda. <laughs> yes, but you're going to spill your beverages. This is the greatest day of my life. 
Yes, it was very <laughs> nice meeting you too. Excuse me. I was always wondering, would anybody recognize it? Maybe like people at the basketball game, or like um, the commentators that they would recognize him and kind of call him out during the game. Um, this should be interesting, though. Who was that? Just the man I met in the restroom. <laughs> Sweetheart, why don't you quit this job? Okay. I've never seen anybody take so much pride in mopping the floor. He who would learn to fly one day. I wonder if this will be to stand and walk. One cannot fly into flying. That one is one of not those cliche that movies where See, that's what I mean. He Most tells guys her at the here, end that he is a prince you. and she like up to oh, Samuel Jackson. Hold on. Hold on. I wonder if he's gonna say his word. Nobody gets hurt. Take the money out, all of As I was saying, I wonder if it would be a cliche movie where he doesn't tell her that he is a prince, and then at the end of the movie, he reveals it that she's a he's a prince, and she like gets upset that he lied to her, and then he kind of has to win her back, kind of thing. We'll see how that goes. Uh, a little prediction that it might go that way, but I don't know. We'll see. Well, I'm pleased to announce that just a few moments ago, Daryl here popped the big question. And Lisa happily accepted. That's not, that's not how it works. It's oh, no, not at all. A little date going on here. You know, I, I feel like I owe you a favor. Why don't you come to my house and I'll fix you dinner? Aw. Patrice will be there. Let us That's go to what my he house. wants. Why? That's what he wants to hear. Well, I'd like to cook for you. You cook. I like them I together. It's very yes. sweet. Excuse me for a moment, please. I wonder at this point of the movie she has feelings for him. What have you done? You uh -oh. told me to fix up the place. <laughs> I wonder how much longer until he tells her that he's a prince. Excuse me for a moment, please. I think I'm most curious about that scene. How she's gonna react? So like this could be back, the time. Back home, I he was. Tells her. I I was in the family business back home. What's that? A uh, goat herding. I am not interested in Patrice. Is this their first what kiss? I am not interested in Daryl either. <laughs> He's so subtle with his jokes. I don't shade that where they you. lived. What are you two involved in? You can't afford all this stuff on your salary. Uh, this is how Someone she's gonna figure to out. Someone to miss. If you're the prince, he's the servant. Which might actually I help served. him. I think it could help him out in the long run. I have a date with Lisa. Isn't that wonderful? They're like, okay, mister. Get out of my face. <laughs> with the score and all of this. Making a big grand entrance. Appropriate reaction. Wait. What? We cannot oh, Eddie Murphy. Why not? Hates those rose petals. Wait in the car. <laughs> I will be right back. B. Daryl. Yeah. Daryl. Got here, Daryl. <laughs> it just what closes the that? door on him. Uh, Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> What's everybody yelling about? <laughs> Their son, the prince, is in love with your and she's sister. She's gonna with learn the king too. Here. He can't handle it. No, he's not. The prince is in love with me. And Sammy's not the prince. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes, mother, I am fine. Oh. I love. I was honestly wondering about the film, it. like how their connection would be, you know, with her, with Daryl, and then him 
having like this not like a big agenda when coming to America, but they honestly have a really good connection um, in the film, and uh, they have really good chemistry, and they, you can tell that they're actually not in love just yet, but interested in each other. So um, I like how the progression of these characters were, and um, they they do seem like they have a pretty strong relationship in the film so far, so curious to see how it's gonna end. I've been to the the subways in New York. Uh, it could be a little bit of a a scary place looking like this. Look, I'm sorry, I can't. Goodbye, I can't. This movie is a, a comedy, but also works strongly as a romance. You're really a prince? I'll marry you. Is he going to change the rules and it's going to be Lisa? Hey, Lisa. Would you really have given up all of this just for me? Of course. If you like, we can give it all up now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really like that movie. Um, it's over, obviously. Um, I thought that ending was a little bit quick, though. One scene, she's telling him, no, I can't be with you. And then the next scene, she's getting married with him. Uh, honestly, just like five more minutes of the movie at the end I think would have benefited it um, maybe her coming to realization having that conversation with him at the end I think could have strengthened the ending but overall I thought the film was really funny Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall are great together in the movie and I like that they play so many different characters it really shows their range there's some really good comedic timing in here as you saw I left a lot in here um, I like the story uh, I liked the beginning, the setup, and how it showed him and uh, him being the part of the royal family and his life, and it's so vastly different in America. I like that uh, good comparison and good contrast uh, for the. Uh, I like that good contrast between the two lives. Uh, and the introduction, of Lisa, was really great. They had good chemistry in the movie, and they seemed like to have um, a solid relationship. But overall, coming to America was a solid film. I uh, can't believe it took me so long to actually check the movie out, but overall I, I really did enjoy the movie. I'm really looking forward to the next movie. Um, there's been so many movies that are comedies, and then decades later they do them again, and it's like, what's the point? And then half the time it's not even funny, or like even reminiscent of the other one, but uh, I want to go check out the trailer again for the next one, but I'm really looking forward to that movie um, coming up in a couple days actually so uh, of course I'll be reviewing it for you guys um, but for right now coming to America pretty funny film uh, if I had to give it a score um, I'd probably give it a B plus I would say um, a B plus for right now but uh, I'm looking forward to the next film I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction I got a few more planned uh, for the month of March I like to do a couple maybe every single month because um, there's been a lot of movies I have not seen before but if you like this video Make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Have you guys seen Coming to America? What do you think about it? Did you guys like the movie? What is your favorite Eddie Murphy role? Are you looking forward to the sequel? So make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. My name is Just Watching Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.